visit from the German president. But François Hollande has Syria very much on his mind. Amid the grandeur of the Elysee Palace, one thing is clear. Militarily, he won't act alone without the Americans. But Mr. Hollande is continuing to talk a tough line against the Syrian regime. The most serious threat would be to let Assad carry on using chemical weapons, massacring his own people and threatening the whole region. This threat won't go away as long as Assad and his regime are in place. And today the attention moves here. A debate in the French parliament on Syria, but no vote, at least not yet. President Hollande wants as broad an international coalition as possible, but he could also do with consensus at home. If France takes military action without any vote here, then constitutionally President Hollande is on safe ground. But politically, after the vote in London and President Obama's decision to consult Congress, well, politically, it's rather more risky. Because there are rumblings of discontent within his own party, and pressure mounting from the opposition. Today, he has no legal basis, internationally speaking, to act. And if he acts, France is an aggressor. I'm pretty sure that there are a lot of MPs, even on the left-hand side, who are opposed to this. The president's supporters would disagree, but this is inevitably an issue that divides opinion. I think that France should act because we can't let people in Syria just like this. We have to, to act, really. Personally, I think they shouldn't because every time uh, European countries are uh, intervening in that kind of conflict, it, uh, it was a total disaster. Francois Hollande's first military intervention overseas in Mali in West Africa went well. But Syria is very different. One of the defining issues on which this French presidency will be judged. Chris Morris, BBC News, Paris.